Icaros Interplanetary Kite Craft Accelerated by Radiation of the Sun is a Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency JAXA experimental spacecraft. The spacecraft was launched on the 21st of May 2010 aboard an HIIA rocket together with the Akatsuki Venus Climate Orbiter probe and four other small spacecraft. Icaros is the first spacecraft to successfully demonstrate solar sail technology in interplanetary space. On the 8th of December 2010, Icaros passed by Venus at about 80,800 kilometers (50,200 miles) distance, completing the planned mission successfully and entered its extended operation phase. Topic: Purpose. The Icaros probe is the world's first spacecraft to use solar sailing as the main propulsion. It was designed to demonstrate four key technologies comments in parentheses refer to figure Deployment and control of a large, thin solar sail membrane gray-blue areas numbered three. Thin film solar cells integrated into the sail to power the payload black rectangles numbered four. Measurement of acceleration due to radiation pressure on the solar sail Attitude control by varying the reflectance of 80 liquid crystal panels embedded in the sail orange rectangles numbered two. The mission also includes investigations of aspects of interplanetary space, such as gamma-ray bursts, solar wind and cosmic dust. The probe's Aladdin instrument ALDNS and ALDN -E measured the variation in dust density while its gamma-ray burst polarimeter GAP measured the polarization of gamma-ray bursts during its six-month cruise. Icaros is to be followed by a 40 times 40 meters sail, the Jupiter Trojan Asteroid Explorer, intended to journey to Jupiter and the Trojan Asteroids, launched in the late 2020s, with a proposed goal of returning an asteroid sample to Earth in the 2050s. Topic. Design The square sail, deployed via a spinning motion using 0.5 kg tip masses key item 1 in figure at right, is 20 m on the diagonal and is made of a 7.5 micrometers in thick sheet of polyimide key item 3 in figure at right. The polyimide sheet had a mass of about 10 g per square meter, resulting in a total sail mass of 2 kg, excluding tip masses, attached panels and tethers. A thin film solar array is embedded in the sail, key item 4 in figure at right. Powerfilm, Inc. provided the thin film solar array. 80 blocks of LCD panels are embedded in the sail, whose reflectance can be adjusted for attitude control, key item 2 in figure at right. The sail also contains eight dust counters on the opposite face as part of the science payload. Topic. Mission progress Icaros was successfully launched together with Akatsuki the Venus Climate Orbiter aboard an HIIA rocket from the Tanegashima Space Center on 21 May 2010. Icaros spun at 20 to 25 revolutions per minute and finished unfurling its sail on the 10th of June 2010. The craft contains two tiny ejectable cameras, DCAM1 and DCAM2. DCAM2 was used to photograph the sail after deployment on the 14th of July 2010. Acceleration and attitude control orientation were successfully tested during the remaining 6-month voyage to Venus. On 9 July 2010, JAXA confirmed that Icaros is being accelerated by its solar sail, and on 23 July announced successful attitude control. Over a 23-hour period of time, the solar angle of the sail was changed by a half a degree, not by using thrusters, but by dynamically controlling the reflectivity of the 80 liquid crystal panels at the outer edge of the sail so that the sunlight pressure would produce torque. Icaros continues to spin at approximately 2 revolutions per minute, requiring the LCD panels to be cycled at that rate for attitude control. According to JAXA, Icaros finished all planned experiments in December 2010, but the mission has continued beyond that date, in order to enhance the skill of controlling solar sail. On 30 November 2012, JAXA announced that Icaros had been recognized by Guinness World Records as the world's first solar sail spacecraft between planets, and that its two separated cameras, DCAM-1 and DCAM-2, had been recognized as the smallest size of a spacecraft flying between planets. As of 2012, the Icaros continued to spin, but its attitude control had degraded. 
This resulted in unexpected sail motions and as a result, downlink through the medium gain antenna was only intermittently available. The project team was dissolved on 28 March 2013, although a trial receipt of data was planned for a later date. The project was reactivated on 20 June 2013 in the expectation that the satellite would wake up from a hibernation state as more power from the solar panels became available. The team was able to receive telemetry from the Icaros between 20 June and 12 September 2013, after which contact was again lost. The loss of contact was around the predicted time of the spacecraft again entering a low-power hibernation mode as power from the solar panels decreased. Available communication time through the Yusuda Deep Space Center antenna was limited, so data was gathered only intermittently to estimate the speed, trajectory and rotation of the satellite. As of August 2013, Icaros was continuing to gain speed. At that time, it had gained approximately 400 meters per second of velocity from its solar sail. Transmissions were again received on the 22nd of May 2014, the spacecraft flying at a distance of about 230 million kilometers from the Earth. By May 2014, Icaros was on a 10-month orbit around the Sun, spending seven months of each orbit in hibernation mode due to insufficient power. By 23 April 2015, the spacecraft woke up from hibernation mode for the fourth time and was flying at a distance of about 120 million kilometers from the Earth. On 21 May 2015, JAXA could not receive a signal from Icaros and concluded that the spacecraft had shifted to the hibernation mode for the fifth time, as expected. Based on May 2015 data the position of Icaros at the time was about 110 million kilometers away from the Earth, and about 130 million kilometers from the Sun. Data showed no anomaly in the Icaros spacecraft. JAXA anticipated that it will come out from hibernation mode in the winter of 2015. <laughs> Science results From the gamma-ray polarization data of GAP, Toma et al. puts a stricter limit on CPT violation. It is an improvement of eight orders of magnitude over previous limits. JAXA scientists stated that the measured thrust force by the solar radiation pressure on Icaros 196 square meters sail is 1.12 mN. Topic. See also. Cubesail. Cubesail Ultrasail Lightsail 2, a private solar sail project of the Planetary Society List of missions to Venus Near-Earth Asteroid Scout, a CubeSat tasked with traveling to an asteroid approximately one astronomical unit from Earth Nanosail D2, an American solar sail deployed in LEO in January 2011 Okeanos, proposed successor to Icaros targeting the Jupiter Trojans Solar sail Topic. Notes Topic. References Osamu Mori, et al., 6 July 2008. "'Development of Deployment System for Small Size Solar Sail Mission", PDF, 26th International Symposium on Space Technology and Science. 7, pd underscore 87 pd underscore 94. Bibcode, 2009 TRSPT. 7, pd 87m. doi, 10.2322, tstj.7, pd underscore 87. Retrieved 9 May 2011. Osamu Mori, et al., 9 July 2009. First Solar Power Sail Demonstration by Icaros. PDF, 27th International Symposium on Space Technology and Science. 8, to underscore 4. Bibcode, 2011 TJSAI. 8 to 425M. Retrieved 6 March 2010. Topic. External links. Successful image shooting by the second separation camera the 28th of June 2010 JAXA press release Solar sail navigation technology of Icaros